What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the tech teacher here. We cover all things tech. So if that interests you, go ahead and drop a subscribe down below. And also don't forget to like the video and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to overclock your graphics card. Now, this will work for any graphics card, whether you're still rocking with the 1050 or if you're already in the 30 series with a 3080 or a 3090, it doesn't matter. This will work for every card at that bottom tier or the top tier and everything in between. And this is a safe way for you to get some extra performance out of your graphics card that's just sit otherwise sitting there. So guys, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. I do recommend that you watch this video all the way through. We take a couple benchmarks before the overclock and after the overclock. So if you're interested in seeing what that graphical improvement looks with just a slight overclock, stay tuned until the end. And um, also don't forget to like the video if you like the video. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right up into the review. All right, guys, the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the MSI Afterburners um, download site. There will be a link in the description below. You go ahead and download MSI Afterburner. Do the same for MSI Combustor. Just want to click on download. You'll get a list that looks like this. You just want to pick the one that is appropriate for your operating system. All right, guys, and I just wanted to run a user benchmark test to see what kind of performance our machine is getting before we go ahead and do the overclock came in a little bit over halfway through the benchmark just like i said just to get a baseline to make sure that once we overclock we're actually seeing some performance in, on our specific system so i'm going to go ahead and let this finish and show you guys the results and then um go through the overclock and show you guys the results out before and after all right guys, once you have those downloaded, you just want to go ahead and open up MSI Afterburner and then open up Combustor. You can just click on the K, just a shortcut to open it up since these two programs do work hand in hand. Get all of these settings lined up, make sure it's running off of your GPU and at your resolution. You also have these benchmark presets that you can go ahead and line up. So click on Run Stress Test. What this is going to do is just put your GPU under test, I mean under stress, while we try to configure what's the best settings for our overclock. So the very first thing you want to do regardless of any GPU at in any condition, you want to crank this power limit all the way up and the tip limit will follow. Trust me, this won't do anything bad to your GPU. It has to be the first step so that you can actually handle when you overclock the core and the memory in the GPU. So once you do that, we're going to um, go ahead and go down to the four clock. And I suggest that you set these up to about 20 megahertz in increments. Go ahead, click the 20, click check, and then let the um, let the stress test run for a while just to make sure that it doesn't buckle and it can actually handle the increase in power. It doesn't take very long. If it's going to buckle, it's going to buckle pretty quick. So this click is still going. Then we can just go ahead and raise it up to 40 check and then let it run for a while i'm gonna go through all of my settings until i get somewhere where it breaks and then i'll see you guys there All right, guys, as soon as I got to 200, the entire system buckled. It shut down the program, which lets me know that it's my limit for my GPU. I like to have a decent amount of headroom just for peace of mind. So I reverted it back to 175 and I've let it run for a decent amount of time. And it seems to be holding pretty steady. So we're going to go ahead and move to the memory clock. 
Now we're gonna adjust this a little bit slower than we did the core clock. We're gonna start off at increments of 10. And it's really just following the exact same process. Up to 10. Press enter, hit make sure you hit the check mark and just let it run for a couple of seconds. Good. Something else I also suggest is making sure that you hit this auto button right down here for the fan speed. That way you don't have to worry about setting it for a constant speed based on how much power you're drawing or how much the GPU is working. As you can see, mine is moving based on what's happening with mine. If I was to unclick this, then I could actually manually move this bar. But I find it best to just have the auto bar on. That being said, we can go ahead and jump up to 20. This is seems to be holding fairly steady. We're just gonna follow that same process. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the time lapse and see you guys when I have reached the limit. There it goes. Buckles. Hit 90. For clock memory. Luckily, it did shut down the recording so you guys can actually see. Um, much to get shut down. Like I said, I like to have a generous amount of headroom. So since it did shut down at 90, we'll go ahead and set it to 70. That. Open up the combustor. Always make sure you set it to the resolution that you are actually running in. That stress test. And I'm gonna let it run with these settings for about five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead, throw you guys the time lapse. Now I'll see you at the end of that. I'm pretty confident that if it can run this stress test for five minutes straight without crippling or stuttering in any way, then it is a stable overclock. So, see you guys in the future. All right, guys, it's pretty much past this test with flying colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of the boat. Press test. And you have now got yourself a stable overclock. I just wanna mention, never, ever, ever touch the core voltage ever for anything. Don't touch it, Do not touch it at all. Don't touch the core voltage, please. <laughs> now beyond that if you want to save it you will just have to go over and click this save button and it'll highlight all of these different profiles i'm going to go ahead and save this one to profile number one click on that you will see that number two has some significantly different numbers than what we just saved at number one so we're going to go ahead and lock that in. You also want to make sure you click on the startup button. That way MSI Afterburner launches every time you restart Windows and you won't have to reset any of these values. You can just start when your operating system boots up. All right, now that we have a stable overclock established, let's go ahead and run another user benchmark test to see what our score is looking like and make sure we actually got some graphical improvements.
and right here on our benchmark test we're actually hitting a slag yes this is the hardest test for it to run this um talic sphere but i'm gonna reduce my overclock because of this lag just to make sure it runs everything as clear as possible Alright, and here we actually have our results after the overclock was established. I'm going to go ahead and click on the loads before. So as you can see, there was a marginal increase. Nothing super ridiculous or absolutely game changing, but nonetheless, it is power that's just sitting on your graphics card, just waiting to be extracted, waiting to be used, that you paid for that's not being used so I mean why not go in and just a few sliders and get a little bit of extra performance out of your graphics card especially right now if you don't have the greatest graphics card on the on the market and it might be struggling to run some games now this isn't gonna like make a night and day difference but this could help with some of those um day-to-day -day struggles with running over games harder to run on older um graphics cards well guys, that's all I have for you today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure you like the video. And if you have any comments for uh, or any suggestions for any upcoming videos, make sure that you drop those down below. Don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.